Hello everyone and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be Shader Conversion. I will show you how to convert traditional shaders into PBR shaders. Whether they are legacy models from previous iClone versions or imported models from another website. The process is quite simple and there are many ways that you can do this. iClone makes it super simple. For example, let's select this sphere over here, let's go to the Materials tab, and under Texture Settings, you go under Shaded Type, you switch from Traditional to PBR. That's all there is to it. Next, you, you notice that you will have two new materials here, one Metallic and one Roughness. Now, in the PBR, Metallic is, is used for, me, for anything that's metal, and the way it is described is, Black is non-metal, and white is pure metal. So in this case, wood is not metal, so we leave it black. Now roughness is about how shiny this, this material is. Right now the roughness is halfway a grayscale. So black means super shiny and white means super dull. So let's, let's polish this. Let's double right click on roughness here. Bring out the adjust color. And let's go ahead and bring the brightness down so it gets darker. So the darker it gets, the shinier it gets. So you, there you have some nice polished wood right there. Okay, so how else can you convert objects? Because right now one object is pretty simple. So what about if you have multiple objects? You could have hundreds of objects, right? So you can control right click multiple objects. And under the modify tab, you can go ahead and say convert objects to and go PBR shaders and convert. So we just now converted all three objects and because this one was already PBR, nothing changes. So uh, don't be afraid to select multiple models and if you already have a PBR one, it's not gonna be touched at all. So now this model over here, let's go to the materials tab here. We want this to be actual, very shiny metal, very gold looking. So let's go ahead and crank up the metal by double right clicking on metallic and bring the brightness all the way up. And also we want this to be super polished. So let's click on roughness and bring it down as much as you want. It's an artistic choice. It's up to you how much you want. But right now, as you can see, it's nice and shiny and it's actually reflecting objects that are around it. This is because under our image based lighting, we have a baked version using this model as the center pivot for that baking. So everything around that model was baked onto the IBL. So now you have reflection. So it looks like actually the wooden sphere is being reflected here and the horse and the lady over here as well. Now let's go into our horse, which we already converted. And let's go ahead and uh, uh, change the material a little bit over here because we want this to be a metallic horse, right? Uh, so um, let's go ahead and bring down the roughness here. Now, okay, let's go, let's make it metal first and bring up the metallic all the way up. And then let's play with the roughness here. And actually let's bring that down, uh, make it darker so it's shinier and we can increase the contrast so all the areas that are darkest over here are the areas that are going to be shiniest and the areas that are brighter are the duller versions of it. Another trick that you can use sometimes is, let's reset this, both, and you can sometimes copy the roughness map, as you can see here, I just copied it to my desktop, and I'm going to bring it here into the metallic. And now, since this is the opposite of roughness, what we need to do is invert this texture, like so. And then what we're going to do here is we are going to increase the contrast. Now notice what happens here. So now you have two materials that are actually separated. And it looks like more that the, the gold painting here on the decoration is metallic, where this is a different type of material. Now you can have, you can mix and match both by simply playing with the contrast or by simply changing the brightness of the image. 
So you can make this look more like copper, or you can make it look more like uh, any material you want. So it's up to you. This is like a preference for you, but it just giving you that, just uh, it's showing you that you do have the power to change things very drastically. It's, it's all up to you. If you want to make this truly all metallic looking, just bring up the brightness all the way up. And, you know, like I said, pretty simple. All right. So next, another way that you can do this is uh, let's check uh, let's check out her. So how can we convert her? Because she has a ton of shaders, and this is only one 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 object. One way that you can do this: a, you can either select Shift Select multiple parts, multiple shaders, and go ahead and change it to PBR. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is, however, if there are a lot and you don't have enough scrolling space to do this, you can always go and select this tab over here, this little uh, inverted uh, arrows here. It will convert all the shaders that are, uh, that are in that selected item. So it will do the whole conversion for you. So it will save you a ton of time. All right. So... One cool trick that you can use is, for example, let's press the B key, select the uh, uh, the cat suit here, and select the lower and upper. And now let's go ahead and change the roughness. And by doing so, I'm going to double right click to the to get the color adjust here. By doing so, you're actually affecting both materials at the same time, which is great, you know, because that way they both will match. You don't have to go back and forth between them. Now we want this to be some shiny leather. So let's take down the roughness. You can go all the way down and make it look more like vinyl if you want. Uh, uh, but you know, in here it looks like it, this, it started off as leather. So let's make it shiny leather. All right, that looks good. Now let's do the same thing with the skin for the head and the body. I'm gonna go ahead and take that roughness down because right now it suit looks the skin looks very dull and dead. So let's double right click on that, take the brightness down on that. Now don't go too crazy to make it look sweaty or plasticky. This is a mistake that a lot of people do. You need to balance that just right so that you get, you get enough definition. You can see it here on the cheekbone and you can see it on the jugular over here and the bridge of the nose. But it's always good to do the shift eye test, which is basically bringing the widget for the IBL. And moving the IBL around so you make sure that the skin doesn't look very super oily or plasticky. See, right now we are at the borderline, so we can bring probably we can bring this a little bit more up. There you go, something like that, so it looks more natural. So let's turn that off. Shift I again to turn the widget off. All right, so we have that, and then also what we can do here is. Let's select her and go select the skin again. And both head and body. Another thing, sometimes the, the skin tends to be very pale. Another cool trick that you can do is you can go into diffuse color and you can add a little bit of saturation to that skin to make it look more natural. It doesn't have to be too much, but just a little touch. And again, since we have both selected, they're both going to be active at the same time and they're going to react at the same time. See, you got a little more color, more substance to the character. It looks much more natural. One, and, and then one more thing we'll do is we'll tweak the hair real quick here. The roughness is way high up, which we want the we want to have a really nice sheen to the to the hair. So let's go ahead and bring the brightness down. So we get a little bit of specular heads on that hair and uh, something like so. That looks pretty good. So let's let's move the IBL around just to make sure that it's not too crazy. And that looks pretty good to me. All right. That looks good. And great. Let's bring it up maybe a little bit there so it doesn't go too hot here on the hair. So you still have that sheen. Great. Okay. So one more thing that you can do to convert all the shaders at one under the Modify tab is right here, Convert All Shaders. This will convert any shader that you may have missed and not touch the ones that are already converted. This is a great feature. So as, as you saw, 
we did not convert the table, but now it's already in PBR because we did all the models. So this is a good trick to make sure that you didn't miss any shaders out there that you had in your scene and you didn't realize it wasn't converted. So very cool trick to use. All right, so this about Converse uh, converting shaders. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.